The tide of change that swept across Kerala inspired many people to come forward and find solutions to problems that was weighing the society down. Today, we will learn about the contributions of Manatha Padmanabhan Pillai towards the progression of Kerala from the clutches of caste division. Manatha Padmanabhan was born in 1978 as the son of Manatha Parvati Amma and Ishwara Nambudiri of Nilimana Illam at Vagatana. Ban on the lower caste community to enter temples was practiced all over Kerala. But the family temple at Peruna was an exception here as it did not have a ban on the people to enter the temple or its premises. This was a source of inspiration for Manat. He was also inspired by the works of Chattambi Swamigal. His awareness of the societal conditions made him fight against the practice of untouchability. One among his major contributions towards the society was the key role he played in the Viking Satyagraha. He organized the Savarna protest, which was a proclamation of how the practice of untouchability and unapproachability was not entertained by every member of the upper caste. Manit was highly dedicated to the cause which made him give up his career as a teacher and as a lawyer to dedicate himself for full-time service of his community. The Nair Samajam was founded in 1912 with Manatha Padmanabhan Pillai as its secretary. The Samajam initially came into being in 1907 under the leadership of C. Krishnan Pillai. The objectives of this Samajam was to financially strengthen the community and put an end to the practice of Sambandha and obsolete root rituals associated with menstruation and death. It was in 1914 the Nair Vrityanjana Sangam was formed, which later became the Nair Service Society. His contributions to the society made him a source of inspiration for the youth. He lived an exemplary life. He showed how selfless one has to be in order to attain what one aspires to achieve. Thank you.